Well, for a lot of people, Cesar Chavez is a civil rights leader and an activist who fought hard for farm worker rights. But to Eduardo Chavez, he was grandpa and he brought a documentary to the Magic Valley to teach people about his grandfather's legacy. Idaho News 6 reporter Stephanie Garibay spoke with him about what he hopes people get from his film. But I didn't feel comfortable in speaking or doing an event talking about my grandfather's legacy because I didn't feel I didn't understand the magnitude of it. I didn't know what it meant. This is what led Eduardo Chavez to want to make a documentary and learn more about his grandfather, Cesar Chavez, an activist who helped create United Farm Workers, the largest farm workers union in the U.S. But obviously, as I got older and matured, I realized that it's just, um, you know, he happens to be my grandfather, but he really just set an example for humanity. You know, be selfless, be humble, be compassionate, be caring. Not knowing much about his grandfather growing up, he wanted to make this documentary to keep his legacy alive, especially in the younger generation. So he screened it to a class at Wood River Valley High School. What was supposed to be 30 to 50 students watching the film ended up being 600 students. They were making reports to give to their teachers to, you know, show how or show why Cesar Chavez is something that needs to be taught in every curriculum. During the making of the film, Eduardo came across a Cesar Chavez mural painted in Los Angeles and reached out to the artist who painted it. And, and so I guess he Googled me and he, and he called and said, hey, I'm filming a documentary and uh, I'm in front of one of, my, one of your Cesar Chavez murals and it's really damaged. I don't know, and I kind of like, wow, it so happened that I already got this grant to go down there and fix it. And now with help from the Hispanic Latin U.S. Task Force, he brought one of his Cesar Chavez murals to showcase to the Magic Valley. He hopes his mural will inspire Idahoans to want to learn about Chavez's legacy. And it takes, you know, artists or it takes, you know, a filmmaker to do it. And in my case, it began with art, you know. Uh, putting a mural in a community is putting it out into a visual um, in front of the faces of people and they get to go, who is this? Well, who is this? Who is this? Eduardo says one of the best parts about making this film was seeing his dad, the son of Cesar Chavez, be moved to tears. He kind of just like pulled me aside and said like, I'm very proud of you. And that was something that, a moment that it will stick with me forever. Se puede. Si se puede. Stephanie Garibay, Idaho News 6. The Hispanic Latin U.S. Task Force will screen Eduardo Chavez's documentary tonight. Uh, it starts at 6 o'clock, so you've got some time still. The College of Southern Idaho.